Went on my lion's mane this time, you know, instead of having a hat on or tying it up. I don't know, just gotta let it flow. That's because I actually fucking put shampoo and conditioner instead of forgetting to wash my hair. Anyways, we're back to this again. Um, I did this before, but I didn't really like the way I was recording the videos. I don't know if that. Uh, it's just, I don't know. I felt like I could have played the game differently. To be fair, I don't um, really play RPGs like that. To be completely honest with you, the only form of RPG that I've ever played, I guess like Elden Ring and a lot of Pokemon and stuff. So, RPGs like this and... Yeah, the <laughs> Final Fantasy it. And what is what else is another RPG? You don't play it count as an RPG, right? Like, I've played those, but I don't know what it was. I just could not get hooked at all. It was hard for me to get hooked. Although for Xenoblade's sake, I had it on the 3DS and that shit looked absolutely abysmal. That was like my birthday gift. Anyways, starting off great with the controller not fucking working. So I'm going to work some TV movie magic and shit and try to download something that my girlfriend uses so that way she can play Minecraft and stop using her controller. Because for some odd reason, even though Microsoft allows you to use, fuck, Microsoft allows you to use um, a PS4 controller for like Xbox games and stuff, sometimes it just does not like anything at all. This doesn't, doesn't like it, not one bit. something no one can escape it delivers us all to the same end you can't plug your ears or cover your eyes and so it begins. Fucking god, now it's not funny anymore. Fuck. Come on. It's always when something fucking funny happens, too. I, like, I can never have anything. I literally, like, I'm about to lose my shit. I'm not even fucking with you. Because it's so frustrating. It was funny. It was funny. But then, of course, I fucked it up. Because I didn't unmute the fucking mic. <laughs> ah, time waits for no one. All are equal in its flow. All lives born to their ends. You know who... That wasn't... You know who else would protect the glimmer of the finite future? My mom! I'm gonna lose it. So much. This is like the third time I have to fucking reread this goddamn thing. It's not you, it's me.
my head and then pull the trigger you know i've always wondered Come when on. they're shooting themselves in the head to summon their persona do they There's feel no it I, can't. I mean they get the recoil of their head being knocked back after shooting it and stuff but like do they actually feel it that's what i want to know Yeah, I don't even want to think about that yet. I don't even know if you would feel yourself getting shot in the head. Like, if you were to do it yourself. Like, I... Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. Uh, but, yeah, I... Like, genuinely, that I'm very curious now. Again, I don't know how this guy could be so nonchalant about everything turning green, the moon being piss yellow, his MP3 player not working. I, it's like, the signs are there. Some shit's about to happen. He's just like, all right, got to go to my dorm. It's 12 midnight, and somehow the dorm rooms are just unlocked for some fucking reason. I mean, it's Japan. I'm pretty sure they won't have any problem with someone breaking and entering. I arrived so late, better hurry up. It was what I dorm. That's where I'll be just staying. See? I read too fast. Fuck, 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 fuck. Alright, anyways. <laughs> That's where I'll be staying from now on. It should just be up ahead. It was what I station. Check construction site. Uh, better keep my distance looks a little dangerous how do you point that this fucking hole right covered by guardrails and with a sign clearly stating don't fucking go near the whole construction site and that's what you have to worry about forget all the electricity being off that's the main worry right there all right yeah cool somebody's got their priorities straight because i've already been through this too much None of the buttons are lit up. Guess the elevator's out of order. <laughs> Don't be done with me. It was what I strip mall. All right, cool. Coffin-like object. Is this a coffin? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'd fucking assume so, dude. Like, I get. It. I pointed this down in the previous take for this. It's a coffin. What else is it gonna be? I don't get the. F <laughs> Whatever. I'm sorry. I'm frustrated because this is the third time I'm doing this. I'm re recording this part. We had some funny shit going on about the name that I'm gonna give the character. And it's just not gonna be as funny as it was before. And I'm so mad. It was what I dorm. I guess this is it. Persona 3 Reload Oh my god Welcome No You're late I've been waiting a long time If you wish to proceed, sign your name here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. All it says is that you accept full responsibility for your actions. Fair enough. All right. Usually I go with something stupid that goes along the lines of like my name and shit, like Joe Schmo and all that crap, but fuck that. We're going with Sliver The prickle Perfect 
fucking beautiful. So, <laughs> the moment's lost. I'm so mad. This was it. The, <laughs> the reason why he's called Sliver the Prickle is because my friend Ernesto gifted my girlfriend a plushie of Silver, which is like her favorite Sonic character because of Sonic 06. And I don't know what it is, but the plushie look a little crazy. Like, they just laced his shit. He high off fat now. And we just call them Sliver the Prickle because he, he just he don't look right. Yeah, here we go. Fucking. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Something ain't right with him. So, yeah, that's where we're going. Sliver the Prickle. Absolutely. So, <laughs> yes, you did. You did spell that correctly. We're going with it. Good. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears or cover your eyes. And so, it begins. Oh shit. Yeah, true. Just disappears into black smoke. You bet. How are you here at this hour? Um, train? I got here through the train. Don't tell me. I mean, I'm really trying here. Wait. Okay, you hold on. She was about to pull a fucking gun out on me. Huh? All right. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. I mean, uh, rail switch malfunction, man. I don't know what else to tell you. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Hola. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a second year this spring, just like you. Cool. Call me Takeba. Second year, so sophomore? Hmm? <laughs> Why do you have a gun? Yeah, uh, I think last time I just said nice to meet you. So I think I'm gonna pick, why do you have a gun? Huh? Well, uh, it's sort of like a hobby? Right. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. I mean, not a hobby, but... Walking around with a fucking strap on her thigh and shit. Like, she was about to shoot me, man! <laughs> There's about to be a fucking murder. You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. My ass, man. Fucking, it's illegal to carry a firearm in Japan if you're not a police officer. Don't lie to me. It's not a real gun, of course. <laughs> Just that it's for self-defense. It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Thank you. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? Sure. No, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Pretty easy cool. to remember, huh? Since it's all the way at the end here. I kind of would prefer a room to be all the way at the end of the hallway. What about you? Yeah. Um, do you have any questions? Yeah, why do you have a gun on your fucking thigh? Man. Uh, does that kid live here too? What's the contract for? Yeah, it was a weird, mysterious kid that was like, here, sign this contract. When you sign it, you take full responsibilities of your actions. And stuff. And I was like, yeah, fair enough. Um, I think I've said contract, so I'm gonna go. Does this kid live here too? What kid? What are you 
you talking about? Come on, that's not funny. Okay, you know, the gun, the lights fucking sparking back on, random ass kid telling me to sign a contract. Whatever, man. Uh, you carry doesn't seem to know what I'm talking about. Something? Yeah, sure. On your way here from the station, was everything okay? No. I don't even get to ask or get to say no, not really. I just say yeah or what do you mean? Sure. You don't know? No, I don't know, lady. I guess that means you're fine. Well, okay. Don't worry about it then. Yeah, great. I better get going. Not even a good night or something. Questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. Sure. Okay, there you go. Yeah, good night. Thanks. I was about to say, you weren't just gonna leave me off to my room and stuff without saying shit. A little rude. My room looks depressing. <laughs> the room came pre furnished and everything. Cool. I'm spent. I should put my things in the closet and get to bed early. Save, uh, saving your game progress. You can save the progress in the game by pressing the start button. Saving is possible whenever the start button is displayed on the screen. Now you can also press H on the keyboard. Rewinding to a previous point. When you save your game, it also saves a little bit of your past. You can go back to that time by opening the menu with Y, triangle, PS5 controller. Going to system and selecting rewind. Oh shit, so this allows you to, if you mess up on something, you could go back. It all depends. Rewinding to a previous point, when you select the rewind slot, you will be returned to a point where you could roam freely shortly before you save the game. Gotcha. Bless you. Yeah, fuck it. The deadly sneeze, it got louder and louder as you approached. Bless you. Rewinding to a previous point, note that oh, it's, it keeps saying the same thing. I keep reading the title as I'm like reading the next points. Note that the rewind function does not save your new starting point automatically. If you use this function, make sure you continue to save your game as necessary. Gotcha. Check the tutorials. You can check the tutorials that have been displayed before by opening the uh, menu with Y, going to system, and select the tutorial. Sweet. I mean, my dorm room doesn't look that bad. I got a, some windows. At least I can look outside. Got a fancy little mirror and a sink, which is cool. I don't got a bathroom, so I'm assuming I have to use a shared bathroom with all the other male students and shit. Nice little desk, which is cool. Some books, pencils. Yeah, no, this ain't too bad. Still, though, it's pretty small and cramped, but considering it's just going to be me, then, then whatever. Let's not turn on the TV. It might disturb the neighbors this late at night. Better put my stuff away in the closet for now. Accessing downloadable content purchase DLC can be redeemed by checking the closet in your room. Cool. I want to sleep. Sleeping in your bed will allow you to advance forward in time, proceeding to the next day. I should go to sleep early, so I'm ready for the first day of school. What time do you go to school? What's early? It's already 12 p.m. What's early to you, man? Yes. <laughs> I could just choose the not <laughs> answer. <laughs> That's fuck. Did you sleep okay? I'm guessing. I've been asked to show you the way to school. Are you ready to go? Yes. If you wanna go ahead, Great. Let's set out. Good job. And this is how we'll be getting to school every day. Oh. It's a monorail. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, no, yeah. I honestly love the ride here. It almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. Oh, by the way, okay. our school's at the last yeah. stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. That's cool. Have you heard to of it? take a whole monorail a whole man to a school and that's smack dab in the middle. In the middle of the monorail system on an island. Oh look, there it is now. Okay. Fucking CSGO flashbang on my eyes. Morning. Well, here we are. 
Allow me to welcome you to Gecko Khan High School. I hope you like it. I mean, fuck it. Like, hell yeah. A high school on an island, a man made island. And you get there by a monorail. That's fucking cool. You'll be okay on your own from here, right? Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is over there on the left. They'll tell you more when you get there. Oh, that about does it. Any questions before I go? Oh, really? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you. How could I? I don't think anybody would believe me at all. That I came to the dorm in the middle of the night and had a strap almost pulled on me. And like, <laughs> who would fucking believe that? There's a crowd forming in the front of the bulletin board. Maybe I'll take a peek before going to the faculty office. Yeah, sure. Look around. Use, yep, I already know how that works. Cool. Check. The class rosters are posted. My name. Added on a small note off to the side. Because <laughs> that was the last minute addition. I forgot about that. <laughs> class 2F. Sliver the prickle. The name Yukari Takaba is also on the list. Seems like I'll be in the same class as her. And then we just head to the faculty. Sweet. It's right here. Seems to be the faculty. Should I go in? Yee. Yeah. Oh, are you the new student? Yep. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Sliver the prickle. Oh, I wish there was some form of like text to speech kind of thing. That'd be funny to have the teacher read out my name. Second year, correct? Yep. Wow, you've lived in a Definitely lot of Definitely not places. Velcro right now. Let's see. Ten years ago, your parents. I'm sorry. Uh, I've been so busy. I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Ms. Toriumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Huh. Wow, such enthusiasm. Yeah, clearly not on that speckled face. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Cool. Come on, I'll show you the way. And so, another new school year is upon us. <laughs> what I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... But the book continues with his speech. It's so sad, I wanted to hear it. Hey! You came to school with Takeba-san this morning, right? The fuck are you? I saw you two walking together. You must be pretty close, huh? That's so fucking creepy. Why would you ask this? What's the deal between you and her? None of your goddamn business. Oh, and uh, does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. How about turn around? Not even turn around. You can't even turn around. What the fuck am I talking about? Stop talking to me. Oh. Oh really? I thought you might know, but I guess not. Wait. How close are you guys? Who's that? Someone's talking. Yeah, sounds like it's coming from Miss Toriyumi's class. Hey, shh. Be quiet. You're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> Weirdo. What's up, dude? How's it going? Freaking love this guy's energy, man. What do you want? <laughs> oh my god. And you are? Me? Call me Junpei. Junpei Yuri. I transferred here when I was a second year in middle school. It's pretty tough being the new kid at first, you know? So I just wanted to say, hey, see what a nice guy I am? Yeah, sure, I guess. Hey, it's Yukatan. 
didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> there you go again, acting like everybody's best friend. Oh, come on, I'm not you that bad. You have to make him uncomfortable, okay? What? I was just being friendly. That, alright, that's there now. That's fucking... Why your eyes shoot up like that, man? If you say so. Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Funny, huh? Um, uh, hello? Are you forgetting I'm in this class too? Anyway, you gotta ask. I heard you guys walk to school together. What's up with that? Come on, get the dirt. Huh? What are you talking about? We just happen to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? These people are weird. There's nothing else going on clearly in this big ass school. Have rumors been spreading about this already? Now oh, I'm worried. Hey, you didn't tell anyone about you know what. Did you? Okay, good. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, okay? Again, not like anybody would believe me. Oh. <laughs> right. Brother, what kind of conclusions are you going through in your brain right now? for the archery team. You better not start any more rumors. Ah, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's mm -hmm. so paranoid. But hey, I don't know, man, you're the here, second person. Talking about you. Yeah, you're the second person that acts if there's anything going on between me and the girl, man. Like, come on. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man. Yeah, I just got there. Well, here's to a fun school year, dude. You ready to head out? We can walk to the station together. Absolutely. Yo! Should we also take a look around the school while we're at it? I'll just follow you around if you want to leave. Head for the front entrance. Cool. Yeah. Where are you? Um, pubescent student. Hey, new kid, you have no idea how lucky you are. You're surrounded by cute girls in 2F, like Takabe-san. Alright, weirdo. Kind looking student, don't you feel completely lost whenever you transfer to a new school? Absolutely. This is the second floor and the one below has the faculty office, clubs, rooms, and more hands-on classes. If you go down either the st uh, two staircases, you'll be able to reach the front entrance. Nice. Thank you for the helpful tip. I'm getting like stuck between these fucking tables and chairs. Club ditching student. Oh, you're the transfer student. You're gonna join a club or something? I'm still thinking about it. Well, club activities suck anyway. You have to socialize and be considerate of other people. I guess it's a good way to make new friends, but I also just want to enjoy high school, you know? So what are you gonna do? Enjoy it by staring at the fucking chalkboard all day? Yes, I love that. No, let's save, save that. Send it to me. But, um... Yeah, dude, like, so then why the fuck are you talking to me? I don't get it. Alright, indifferent student. New school years are sure are rough. New teachers, new classmates, it's exhausting to have to start over every year. Yeah, I get that. Especially with my anxiety and stuff. So it was like that for me when I was in school. Just starting the new year thinking that you're going to be with the same kids. You know, the friends that you claim to be friends with and shit. And then they just are in different classes or they transfer and you're just like, oh, well, fuck. And that too, like anything could change, new rules, new teachers, new students and stuff. And it just like the atmosphere completely changes and it feels so weird. And I've had that happen multiple times too. So this is just why I was never comfortable with bigger schools and stuff until I got to high school and my high school was literally like tiny as hell. I mean, the total students have a stroke. The amount of students in the high school were 250. That's how small it was. It was insane. Like, I I actually was fine with it because, you know, it was nice. 
And I have to go around this big ass building. And I have to deal with so many freaking kids. I'm trying to leave, uh, you gotta go a floor down. What did you pick something? Nope. Alright, let's go. So weird, too. Like, even this, like having windows in classrooms. We never had that, like just the window going inward, like facing inwards to the classroom, looking in. I'm gonna rephrase that. Over here in the States, we never had like, or at least I didn't, we didn't have windows looking into the classroom. We only had windows looking outside and stuff. The only windows you would see are on the doors. So this is like, it's so weird. Like, look at these kids, man, just fucking staring. Weirdos. Why are you leaving now? You know how to get back, right? Junpei, <laughs> don't go teaching prickle. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. They just call me prickle. I'm prickle coon. I'm prickle coon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch you later. You can done. All right, cool. Who are you? Stylish student. You can tell how fashionable a person is by how they wear their school uniform. I'm gonna brush up on the latest trends to show off my best self. Mitsuri super fan. Oh, did you just transfer to our school? Right, well, just so you know, the only person I'm interested in is Kiruji Senpai. She looked so stunning at to, uh, today's welcoming ceremony, too. What about you two? Chatting students. Grief. Stern looking student. Just because it's a new school year doesn't mean that students should be running wild. It's up to me to reinforce order. That is, once I've officially become a member of this disciplinary committee. God, I do need to, like, read shit in my head and stop rushing. Holy shit. You think so? Kind of looking upperclassman. You're making such a sour face again. Odagiri kun. I guess some things never change. Okay. What about you two? Perform students. Did you hear? The transfer student's gonna be in 2F. Oh my gosh, what if he turns out to be really cool? Cute. Wanna go see the peak? Oh yeah, apparently he's staying at Iwatodai dorm, the one Takabe-san's staying at. But isn't it kind of weird to transfer schools as a second year? I wonder if he was a troublemaker at his last school. How about? Shut your fucking mouth, you don't know shit. Alright? Cool. Mm, Alright then, carry on. You ready to get out of here? Yup. Maybe. I'll wait. New members gotta wait a while before they can apply. That sucks. You stopped with Todai, right? Forms, man. Must be nice. Talk about living life wild and free. I think that is exactly how that works, but I don't like to believe. Well, I'm going this way, so see you tomorrow. E. So weird. I I honestly thought that's what high school was gonna be like for me. Joining clubs, being in a big school and stuff, doing activities. Then I got shoved into a tiny school, and there really wasn't much clubs going on other than the anime club, which was still cool, but there just wasn't clubs. There's just that one thing and that's it. Until I ended up creating a game club at my school, because we clearly had a lot of people that really were interested in games, especially Smash 4 for the Wii U and 3DS, so me and my teacher ended up coming up with the game club and that was like the main thing we mainly played I shit you not there wasn't a moment where we weren't playing smash <laughs> so yeah it's terrible um well it was terrible it was fun but like clearly there were other games to play but we always ended up on smash uh, precu uh precocious girl is that how you say that precocious girl precocious girl Precocious girl? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. I can't. I can't English, apparently. Everyone's excited because school's starting, but I really don't care. <laughs> okay. The news has been really weird lately. I even saw some policemen around earlier. The music's good too. I like it. It's very jazzy. And like upbeat. I love it. Taxi driver. Oh, I guess a new school semester started. I was wondering why I've been seeing so many students around. The world's a strange place these days. These kids better prepare themselves for the future. 
It's an astronaut. Mom. Cat loving boy. My friend has a cat, and it's so cute. I'm not allowed to have one though, so I just try to get my fill of cats by looking at strays. Poor kid. That's good. Usually businessmen. Uh, there are so many great shops here, I can't help but swing by. Oh, uh, I'm out of here for work right now. I'm not slacking off. Oh, are you a student from school around here? Well, you'll be glad to know you could get some quality sushi close by. Make it right here. Drop by sometime if you want. Oh, actually, our shop is still on a new renovation. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. We are a bookstore, not a sushi restaurant. I'm sorry. He's always like that. That's so sad. Oh, town map. Use the town map to navigate your surroundings and move from one location to another. Visit as many spots in town as you can and they'll be added to the map. Cool, cool. See the dormitory. Nice. Fast travel. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Rumor loving girl. There are all kinds of shops here at the Ubatodai Shrimp Mall. If you're craving delicious foods, then head to Wakasu. There is also Hagakure. Hagakure, a famous ramen shop. You can also find desserts here and burgers and... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going about food. I guess it's eating time. So just kidding. So why'd you fucking lie to me then? Everyone. That uniform, you must be a student at Geku and High. That's nice. Do you live in this dorm? It looks like Geku and High went through a rough patch a while back, but it's been rebuilt into such a magnificent building. Oh, never mind me. Enjoy your new school and semester this spring. Thank you. Should I go back to the dorm now? Yeah. Let's see what else we're going to be doing tonight. After school, evening. Hello. Thank you. That was your first day of school. Not too bad. Yes. I see. Well, don't hesitate to ask your classmates for help if you need it. Oh, apologies. I didn't mean to keep you here. You had a long day. Get so get some rest. And who else is here? Oh. What the fuck? I thought you were sitting over there. I see you, Kujo. It's dangerous to go out on your own at night, please refrain from doing so. Besides, you must be tired after the day. You should make sure you to get some good night's rest. Alright then. What about you? Oh, welcome back. Hey, what are you doing? I'm just looking around. Huh. That's not much to see. You're probably pretty tired after your first day, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early. Why is everybody telling me to go to bed early? It's because they don't want me seeing the piss moon at night. Everything turning green. I slumber. Confident student. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going on. I know. Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. It's been quite a topic of discussion. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It's gotta be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay out there on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. This isn't a game, Akihiko. So <laughs> April 4th, 2009. God, what a time. I was freaking seven years old by then, man. That's crazy. Uh, I can hear people talking. Not by then. Seven years old. Back then. There we go. That makes sense. That makes more sense. Chinese female student. Hey, have you heard the rumor about uh, what was it again? The bathroom. That's old news. Besides, it's just a ghost story, not a rumor. I'm talking about that one girl, right? The second year. She stopped coming to school and just sits around staring at walls all day long. Whenever her mom tries to talk to her, the only thing she says is, It's coming. It's coming. What? Is that really how the story goes? Eh, whatever. It's probably all made up anyway. Some disturbing rumors seem to be spreading around the school. Press balance bro. See, and how would anybody believe me talking about the whole okay, incident when I first arrived? 
Miss Toriyumi. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzao uh, Kasai. <laughs> Why him? I've been more interested in Toda uh, Kenu Kenko's work lately. These are fantastic, and he's also a famous haiku poet. I wonder why all this is in the textbook. Well, I guess I'll just bring his book next time. Speaking of haikus, they often use words or phrases related to seasons, but it's easy to get them mixed up. For example, you'd think tasty bamboo shoots and vivid carp streamers would symbolize spring, right? I was just about to say, that sounds like summer. Well, they're actually related to summer. Haiku poets usually refer to seasons based on the lunar calendar, making it fairly complicated. Hey Ayori, are you listening? Here's a question for you. Among these phrases, a rain of flowers, mystical mirage, and vivid carp streamers, which one symbolizes summer? What? <laughs> that <looks> like <laughs> sliver. <laughs> right, because I put the in the first name. I couldn't fit it on the last name. I tried. Um, half the time, if they're saying my first name, they'll say sliver the. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Sliver the. He was listening, right? Lend a brother a hand. Social stats. When you're going about your day to day life, you will come across certain actions that are required to use one of these stats academics, charm, and courage. Social stats can be raised by doing various things around the city or by answering questions correctly in class. Keep an eye out for these activities that might help you hone those skills. What phrase symbolizes summer? Vivid carp streamers, you dunce. Exactly. So you were listening to me after all. He wasn't a lie. By the way, mystical mirage and a rain of flowers represent spring. A mirage is a natural phenomenon that occurs around late March to early June, and a rain of flowers refers to the spring showers around the time cherry blossoms bloom. It's not literally raining flowers. Make sure you all remember that our next topic is. <laughs> hey, well, you know how much I like to pay attention. Yes. Are you seriously saying my bacon? So, <laughs> sliver the exclamation mark. Prickle Coon gave him the answer just now. He must have good memory or something. I can hear my classmates whispering. I've become slightly more popular. E. I don't have good memory. Believe it or not. Class is ended for today. I should head back to the dorm. Damn, that was quick. Did I meet up with Junpei? It was sort of strip mall is bustling with activity this afternoon. It don't. It's the next day. So, this is our new guest. Sophisticated gentleman. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Please, have a seat. I apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations, but it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Oh, really? Yeah. Excellent. Here's to a wonderful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm sure you're worn out from all these formalities. You may want to consider going to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. <laughs> Get it? Bookworm? <laughs> you're right, you're the guy that comes <laughs> up with all the puns. Students? Clever, isn't it? Yes, very clever. <laughs> they all get sick and tired of his shit. <laughs> yeah! Come on! It's not bad. You'll get used to his lame jokes. Fuck you! His jokes are superb. My room too. Like the chairman said, you should get some rest. Transferring schools is a real pain when you're not used to it. Good night. How about no, not good night. I do what I want. I should listen to them and go rest in my room. Why? How about no? Hello there. <laughs> Wait, they're spying on me. Hold the fuck up. So does that mean they watch me change too? That's a little weird. 
So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Do you still want to use it? Come on, what do you say? I can't leave a pretty girl standing around in the cold like this. In the what do you think, Naomi? I mean, big patch. I'm cool with it, but if my parents found out... They don't need to know. Yeah. Just drop them a text. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, it sucks. Man listening to the radio. I mean, student listening to the radio. So wearing the uniform. I'm serious. I was scared yeah, shitless. Right. Nice story, though. That was the Bayside Rockers, brought to you yeah, by KJ. And that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in again next week, same time, same place. The program you just heard was sponsored by Curijo Electronics, bringing the future to you. The time is now 12 a.m. What? <laughs> no, let's go. I'm melting, I'm melting. <laughs> Poor bastard. He didn't even know what was coming. He just turned into a pile of goop. He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He may be asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Though, come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Yeah, man. Like, come on. I'm in my jammies. What the fuck you doing? Just spying on me. <laughs> Whoa. No. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what a beautiful smile. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Thank you. Mysterious old gentleman. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Why couldn't they make your mouth move, man? I don't understand why your lips move. No, that's okay. Is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Oh. The documents that I signed at the door. From now on. You shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. Go. Cool. You were destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my assistance to do so. I only ask one thing in return. What's up? Abide by your contract and assume full responsibility for the choices you make. Ye? Yeah. Did I just go to sleep in my school clothes? Velvet key. Until we meet again. Cool.
Feels like I've had a strange dream. It's time to go to school. Yo, I'm so sleepy today. Types like these, the best course of action is sleep during class. The general rush you get from dozing off right in front of the teacher can really spice up your dreams. Alright then. It's real addicting, ain't it? After you build up the courage to do it once, you gotta try it again. Then again, and since I'm not listening to the lecture, I'm pretty much screwed later. Oh, but we have classic literature today. That means we're stuck with Mr. Nasty Old Dakota. Oh, this is the guy that likes samurais and stuff. Now, moving on. <laughs> I'm Mr. Dakota. I'll be your classic literature teacher. We'll be learning all about good old Japan through some truly great stories. Exciting, right? Now, some people say classic literature isn't relevant anymore, but oh, they are wrong. The students, the other teachers, they don't know what they're talking about. Nobody really understands it like they should. I'm feeling sleepy. Should I close my eyes for a few minutes? Stay awake. Good. Hey, are you even listening to me? Let's wake up, shall we, children? Now open up your textbooks. First on our syllabus is I say Monogari. Monogatari. The origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. Young, you youngsters might even call it the ball. <laughs> no. So I could tell you people are zoning out on me. I forced myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. Nice. I'm good. Somewhere on the way home. Sure. I don't know. Maybe grab a bite to eat. That's right. You're new around here. Yeah. No worries. I'll show you. It's just around the corner from here. Let's go. Cool. This is Polonia Mall. That's <laughs> freaking cool. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we end up coming here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade. Oh yeah, you can rent out CDs too. Nice. And there's that club over there. Man, I miss Blockbuster so much. Not that I've ever done it myself. Loser. Why you even point it out? This place may not look like much, but I'm not complaining. Let's check out the CDs first. I gotta try this. Let me show you my mad crane game skills. Ah, damn it! Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm not leaving empty handed. Dude, I'm gonna look in the side. <laughs> I was just about to say, <laughs> me and my girlfriend do that too whenever we're trying to play with the crane games. It usually works out like yeah, 7 out of 10. One more try. I hung out with you pay for a while before heading back to the dorm. Evening. Welcome back. You're pretty late. I don't mean to be overbearing, but please don't make this a regular occurrence. Man, let me be. Fuck. I'm trying to go out and enjoy my time, man. It's probably like 11. Leave me alone. Well, in any case, you look quite tired. Why don't you go to bed early tonight? Maps and shortcuts. Left bumper. L1 with the display map your current location shortcuts that will allow you to fast travel. When it's displayed, you can open the town map directly from the shortcut selection. Some shortcut destinations or even the shortcut function itself may be unavailable in certain situations. By the way. I guess there was a dorm mother here once who cooked the stuff, but it's just us students now. Maybe that's why we have such a nice kitchen. Seems like a waste not to use it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that I'd really be able to make good use of it though. And Kiruja Senpai doesn't do stuff like cooking, but I would feel kind of bad if no one ever used it. I'd cook. Make the meanest triple cheese grilled cheese ever, man. Oh, right. I must say, the moon looks quite stunning on this hazy spring night. Though tempting as it may be to spend a night such as this gazing at the sky, I suggest you head to bed early and get some rest. Don't worry, there will be more full moons. Whatever. Fuck you. Bed. I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because I haven't gotten used to living here. Trip. 
true. Just who was that old man from the dream I had last night? What was that contract all about? Maybe you should have read it, loser. Then we would have understood what the contract was about. How is he? I'm you have Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. <laughs> the way I'm just posted on the bed. Yeah, fuck it. I mean, could somebody just go in the room and fix me, please? I'm over here on the edge of the bed, just like. I just fucking passed out. Yeah, yeah, deceased. I'm fucking dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. I mean, bro, I'm fucking breaking my back over here. My legs over the bed, man. <laughs> hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. This subject is rather unique. He mm -hmm. hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Cute. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. I guess that's true, but still. Hmm. Command room speaking. Akihiko, what's wrong? <laughs> You're not gonna believe it. This thing is huge. <laughs> All right. Why the fuck did you say it like that? Oh my god, I hate that so much. Fuck me in my mind. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, that's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Uh, right. Be careful. Akihiko! <laughs> Damn, brother got fucked up. Okay. <laughs> I'm alright. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. Yeah, you stupid fuck. Why would you bring it here? Couldn't I have at least lost it? This is no time to joke around. Is it one of them, Sanada-kun? Yeah, but not an ordinary one. Isn't there anybody else that lives in this building? Is it just us? How was that? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You're the one who led it to us, Akihiko. So I'm going to have you fight. It's not like I asked it to follow me. You still could have tried and lose it in an alleyway or something. Go. Uh, okay. A loud noise woke me up. I should check what's happening outside. Yeah, I'm. Trust me. Whatever the fuck banged on the goddamn build building already woke me up before you. So I'll ass. Alright. There's no time to explain. We have to get out of here now. There. Hurry! To the first floor! We'll leave through the back. Oh wait! Take this just in case. Where the fuck do you pull out a short sword from? Holy shit, magic. Y yes, I hear you. Be careful. Being able there to speak to, to each other through like this like machine or something. The oh. primary one's lurking somewhere nearby. What? Oh, oh, let's pull back. 
What are we gonna do? It's at the front door. Should we go upstairs for now? Why are you asking me? You're the one who said this. The music's cool. I love the music. It's getting closer. We need to calm down. It's gonna be okay. Getting to safety is our priority now. Of course it is. Sorry. I know this is sudden. You were sleeping. I'll promise I'll explain later. The better. What was that? No, Don't I didn't. Tell me Yeah, why did we stop to chat? Right. If we go out through here, then is that like a fire escape? <sighs> I've locked the door, so we should be safe for now. Hand. No way. No, <laughs> multiple hands. Oh, all right then. Fuck. It's an amalgamation of hands with a mask and sword. God damn. I was in a radio 54 or did you not let it charge? It's here. I thought I let it charge. Wait. Wait. I just keep getting flashbanged left and right. <laughs> why am I smiling? Yo, why bro smiling? It's a massive fucking migraine. Yeah, true. Let a migraine just fucking concave me and spawn a demon. Oh shit. Now all of them are flabbergasted. What on earth was that? 
I don't like to face the director of the board or whatever his name is, is making. <sighs> Alright, bye bye then. Is it over? Nope. Oh shit. That is a cool ass sword. Did they break off from that other one? Probably. Can you some? Yeah, I could. <laughs> hey, that's so fucking cool. You just did again. Monsters are gone. <laughs> Damn, alright, nighty date. Are you okay? Oh, come on. Can you hear me? Oh, say something. It's so good to see you again. He's good to see you, you too. Lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Oh shit. Oh, I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very interesting. What about the other one? I, I forgot you don't talk about him. That was the power of Persona, the manifestation of your psyche. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. Mm. The power of a persona is the power of one's soul. And the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bond. As you form these bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The strength of these social links will foster the growth of your persona abilities. Oh, okay. Please remember this. I will definitely try. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. I'm saying unconscious for like a week or so. <laughs> yeah, it was a week. Jesus fuck. Man, it's getting clearer. I can feel someone's presence behind me or beside me. You're awake. Yes. How do you feel? Like shit. Thank goodness you finally woke up. Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. <laughs> My ass. Hey, um, I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. But wow, that power of yours was really something. You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And that power you used, we call it Persona. Don't worry, we'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh, I wanted to tell you something. I can kind of relate. To you, I mean. My dad died in an accident when I was little. And my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, aren't you? To be honest, I already heard about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine too. This was a while ago, but there was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. At the time, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. 
so I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, I'll find out more about it. That's why I'm going to Gekukon High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kind of panicked. That was my first time facing them, too. Sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I weren't such a coward. Really? But still. Sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. Alright, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you're okay. Cool. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. So then why don't we just like are you are you going to the dorm and shit? Like why didn't we just walk together then? See you. What? Did you just leave me? Alright then, whatever. I gotta say, I'm so relieved now that you're out of the hospital. Don't push yourself, though. You wanna get some rest? Don't worry, your room's safe now. Hey. Kiri just sent by said she'll be late today. I guess she's processing some paperwork for you. Hey, try not to overdo it out of school tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Alright. So that's it, gonna, that's gonna be it for me, actually. Uh, Alright, I can just sit right here. Yeah! See, like, I tried it before, but I kept messing up. Anyways. Sliver the prickle. Alright, so that's gonna be it for me today. Where? How do I exit? Oh, don't I? I can press tab. Yeah! <laughs> this is so cool! I love this pause screen. So fucking much. You have no idea. Save data. Alright. Set set up. Yes. Cool. So, yeah. That's it for the first episode. Honestly, I did a lot better this time. I don't know what it was, but I kind of took a while with the pro um, prologue and stuff, so the beginning part of this game just split into like i think three different sections because i don't know what it was but i was scared to record over an hour or so or i just didn't plan it properly but i'm honestly happy we got all that stuff done within one video too so yeah thank you guys so much for watching hope you all enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys next time uh